everybody, E here. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another manga review. Today we are talking about Gyu by Junji Ito. Um, I looked up how to pronounce it on the interwebs and the robotic lady on Google said that it was Gyo. If I'm getting that right, I mean wrong, I'm sure y'all will let me know. Uh, this is my second read from Junji Ito. I have since read and finished Tomi also. Uh, this one isn't as good as Uzumaki. Um, it is good. It is fantastic. I feel this one is more of a comedy than it is anything else. There's the gross out stuff, there's the extreme horror, there's all that stuff. But this one is like Dreamcatcher, brother. It is loaded and loaded with fart jokes. Um, so if you're into that kind of thing, or if you're a fan of Earl uh, on, the, on this channel, then definitely, de definitely check this out. I'm going to um, talk about uh, not so much what happens in the book, but certain things that I appreciated. The, the character interactions in here felt more... And I don't want to talk about Tomy too much, but there there are problems with Tomy that I will talk about in that one. It's easily my least favorite of his work um, so far. I still have No Longer Human, which I just found out um, is actually a novelization of another author's book. So before I go any farther, if you'll let me know down there in the doobly-doo whether or not I should read the original book first and then read the, the manga, please let me know. Um... Because just the artwork in that one is making me want to read that book, but I don't know which one I should do first, so please, definitely. Um, we, you know, the, the, the whole concept of the government, I, it, it all reads very, very silly um, to me, but I think that's what made me enjoy the story so much, is I was having a blast with how utterly asinine and insane it was, whereas with Uzumaki, that book kind of opened my eyes it's not like I had a huge revelation and it changed my life seeing spirals everywhere, but it it did. It opened my eyes and it showed me something that I had never really paid too much attention to. Um, with this one, I just had, it's just balls out fun. From page one to the very end, it is a lot of fun watching these creatures and the various different types of creatures. The shark, the shark is a plus. Um, the, and the different ways that it attaches and how they end up uh, defeating it and all that stuff. The government conspiracy, all, all that. Um, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. I don't really have too much else to say other than I want to focus on the fact if you're looking for something in the horror comedy realm and you may not be one of those people who enjoy horror comedy, I would definitely say pick this one up. Um, because it is relatively short for Junji Ito. I know Tomi was 800 and Uzumaki was 700. I think this one is just over 400. Um, and it, so that means it's going to be cheaper. This one's 22.99 brand new and the other ones were 34.99. It's just because of the size of the book. It's about the size of your typical American thriller. Um, but again, I'm going to put this here at the end. If you're reading this, remember the books read right to left. Um, so you're going to start at the at what we here in the West consider the back, you're going to start back here and you're going to move this way, but also you're going to read the frames from right to left, right to left, all the way down, okay? Um, but yeah, have you read Gyu? Um, I'm giving it four stars. I gave Uzumaki five. Um, have you read it? Did you like it? Let me know down there in the doobly-doo, especially if this is like your favorite Ito. If this is your favorite one, I'd especially like to hear from you um, why you love it so much. Um, if you didn't love it, let me know why you didn't love it. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another manga review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!